If life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. Almost 50 years ago, we said our goodbyes to Voyager 1, sending it on a mission of no return, a mission that was supposed to open new portals in our understanding of the solar system. Like a faithful servant, Voyager 1 has been sending back hordes of data to Earth, exposing mind-boggling discoveries about our cosmos and taking us on a journey into new worlds we never knew existed. Now, Voyager has taken its job too far by just dropping an interstellar shocker on the laps of scientists. Scientists couldn't believe their eyes as they glanced in amazement at the astonishing data that Voyager 1 just transmitted to Earth, a terrifying discovery that is on the verge of rewriting cosmic history as we know it. What's this alarming discovery that Voyager 1 just uncovered? Is it true that Voyager has crossed into interstellar space? Join us on this intriguing cosmic journey as we explore what happened. Interstellar space has seen nothing like Voyager 1 before, as the scientific work of art has explored depths in our cosmos that shock even the best of scientists. This engineering enigma has traveled into regions that we never anticipated, uncovering mind-blowing discoveries that are rewriting our understanding of interstellar space. For over 45 years now, Voyager 1 has unveiled shocking findings that astronomers never envisioned we would come across, at least not in the spacecraft's lifetime. Alas, we couldn't have been more wrong because Voyager 1 has astounded everyone by surviving beyond its expected lifespan. Like a Shakespearean fairy tale, Voyager 1 has not only exceeded its projected lifespan, but has ventured into distances that have left the entire scientific community speechless. We can't help but be in awe of a spacecraft that is billions of miles away from its launch pad, a spacecraft that has wowed everyone with its genius in rewriting the tenets of space exploration. Thanks to Voyager 1, Scientists have been forced to discard some limiting beliefs and embrace new thought models when it comes to interstellar space voyages. It's almost like we were learning from the books right from scratch. Voyager 1 has held everyone spellbound by its insane ability to still send back data to Earth despite its extremely far distance in space. What's more dumbfounding is that we are constantly receiving data from the spacecraft despite its outdated technology. It doesn't make sense. The spacecraft doesn't care about how this makes us feel because it has widened a surprise on our faces with its latest goosebumps tingling discovery. This is one discovery scientists haven't stopped talking about ever since they interpreted the recent message that the Voyager sent to Earth. It appears that the Voyager may have presented us with the interstellar discovery of the decade, a discovery we didn't have to lift a finger to find. What more could we ask for? The journey to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos didn't start today but dates as far back as 1965 when the engine of space exploration was just kicking off. We can't tell the story without mentioning Gary Flandro, who worked at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He was the luminous mind tasked with modifying the optimal path for a space probe that would reach the distant giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Flandro took on this daunting task with great faith and got to work immediately, putting his pencil to great use for several hours. Then he discovered the unthinkable. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four gas giants would align in a cosmic dance, forming a celestial necklace with the Earth. This was a once-in-a-lifetime event, a historic moment that we may never get to see again. From the data that Flandro had unearthed, it was evident that a spacecraft passing by each planet could gain a speed boost from its gravitational pull, like an invisible rope was pulling it. It dawned on Flandro that a journey from Earth to Neptune would have taken 30 years. However, the script had flipped thanks to the calculations deduced from this finding. According to the captivating image painted in Flandro's mind by this latest finding, this journey could be shortened to 12 years due to these gravity assists. Without wasting time, Flandro relayed his findings to the top brass of NASA and advised that we start making concrete plans to seize the opportunity. This remarkable cosmic event would offer us this opportunity because it only occurs once every 176 years. Like a deer running to safety, NASA sprang into action immediately to avoid missing out on this golden opportunity. The opportunity didn't come as a surprise to astronomers when the space agency launched two twin spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Within 15 days of each other in 1977, the space probes left the shores of Earth for space with one mandate ingrained in their computer system. Explore the distant giants in our solar system. 
although scientists were optimistic that these space explorers would uncover mouth-watering discoveries. Nothing had prepared them for the record-breaking findings that these space probes would stumble upon in this monumental voyage. The twin spacecraft lived true to their name by successfully embarking on a cosmic voyage that has enlightened our understanding of the solar system and interstellar space at large. Naturally, one would expect that their light would be quenched with time. However, we couldn't have been more wrong because these spectacular space explorers continue to blaze strongly in space, exploring depths we never imagined they could visit and keeping us abreast of the findings they unlock through the data they send back to the ground team on Earth. They have secured their place in the history books by venturing into the farthest distances trodden by any space probe in human history. Moreover, they consistently amaze everyone by being the oldest known spacecraft in history. We can't help but have the S rolling in their commendation because their original mission durations were supposed to last for only four years. However, they shocked skeptics and everyone at large by pushing past the limit that had been put on their existence. The story keeps getting more glorious with each passing day and scientists can't seem to get enough of the astonishing discoveries that the Voyager craft keep bringing our way. In the early days of their journey, these heroic spacecraft gave us thrilling up-close views of Jupiter and Saturn. They took the veil off our eyes regarding our perception of these giant planets, correcting wrong notions and expanding the lens through which we view these distant planets. Thanks to the voyage across the huge chasm that had limited our understanding of these distant giants, it was slowly filled up as our eyes became configured to the exciting new worlds that we didn't know existed in Jupiter or Saturn. Scientists couldn't hide their astonishment at the fact that these worlds were strikingly more beautiful, active, and dynamic than we could have imagined. Astronomers almost screamed in joy when the data provided by these space probes showed that these planets housed active volcanoes and magnificent ice fields. It was like scientists had been granted entry into a Disneyland filled with the most impressive space discoveries they could think of. Who would have imagined that a spacecraft that is nothing more than a vintage Volkswagen Beetle could tread into uncharted territory and come out with unimaginable discoveries? The kind we haven't seen or heard before. Like a brave hunter daring to go into the thick of a thick forest, Voyager 2 did the unexpected by being the first spacecraft to get so close to Uranus in 1986 and then it continued on this mind-blowing trail till it glided past Neptune in 1989. So far, the history books hold Voyager 2's name as the only spacecraft to have traveled to such lengths in exploring these two ice giants. What historians find more mind-boggling is the landmark discoveries that these iconic visits brought to life. We would have remained in the dark when it comes to our perception of these two distant worlds if Voyager 2 hadn't dared to travel that far a journey that has placed it over 14 billion miles from our planet. Voyager 1 wouldn't have been able to defy everyone's expectations all by itself. Early on in its journey, it had to receive help. We get to see this when its monumental voyage began with a gravity assist from Venus, a maneuver never attempted before by any spacecraft. On their way to Mercury, the Voyager craft's journey is filled with records of many firsts. They kept setting records each passing day as they sailed through the enchanting waves of interstellar space. As exciting as this tale sounds, it wasn't an easy ride for the Voyagers. It seems like a piece of cake now, but decades back, when the space probes were climbing through the different stages of this journey, they had a tense atmosphere overshadowing them. We see evidence of this during their multiple attempts to get the necessary maneuver to Mercury. More so, the first leg of their journey to Jupiter was far from rosy. As the voyage took them to a distance ten times farther from Earth than Mercury, this epic journey saw the probes navigate through the unpleasant waves of the asteroid belt, a path that threatened to deter them from their goal. However, the crafts hadn't come this far to be deterred, so they blazed until they crossed the slippery region and continued their glorious exploration of the solar system. Although the Voyager had scaled through the asteroid belt unharmed, its worries didn't end there. There were still a bunch of challenges waiting for the craft along the way as it sailed through space. Scientists recognized the fact that the Voyager was in a tight corner, especially when we consider that it only had 69 kilobytes of memory, which was equivalent to a fraction of a smartphone storage capacity. Hence, the probe's computers had to depend on onboard systems to manage the complexities of their journey. It is interesting to note that the data obtained by the probe's instruments had to be stored on tape recorders before they were sent back to Earth by a modest 23-watt transmitter, which was as powerful as a refrigerator light bulb. 
Since the Voyager was equipped with 12-foot dish antennas, it could conveniently use radio communication traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. Nevertheless, we can't help but be in awe of their strikingly far distance from Earth, which positioned itself as a stumbling block on the successful path of these space explorers. This is because the massive distance made it difficult for the craft to stay connected with Earth. It turned out that the signals from Voyager 2 took over 18 hours before they got intercepted by the ground team on Earth. This challenge was further exacerbated by the ever-rising interference from Earth's noise, including radios, televisions, and cell phones, which made it more difficult to hear faint whispers coming from the spacecraft. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 and its twin have scaled through these hurdles imperiously. Each year since the Voyager embarked on its journey through the interstellar voids of our universe, it has been mailing back iconic findings to scientists, discoveries that have left astronomers with their mouths wide open. These findings are beyond surprising because they are rewriting our understanding of the distant realms in our cosmos. The beliefs we held dear about our cosmos are being thrown into the bin as a new order of the cosmos is being enacted right before our eyes. One of the highlights of this fascinating interstellar journey was recorded when the Voyager ventured into the Oort Cloud, which is a spectacular celestial gathering of comet-like entities bound together by the sun's gravitational pull, stretching halfway towards the nearest star. This distant realm is one of the mysterious regions that the Voyager has dared to explore, and it is slowly uncovering the boundless secrets hidden deep in this cosmic realm. Furthermore, one place where Voyager 1 seemed to have shone bright was interstellar space, where the solar wind phenomena give way to a more accessible frontier. Before the Voyager could step into this enchanting region, it had to travel past the heliopause, which is the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. The moment the Voyager crossed this border, astronomers leaped up in excitement, and the entire scientific community began to daydream about the impossible findings that would be birthed through this historic event. The Voyager's foray into this uncharted territory came along with some disturbing questions. For instance, the initial estimates of the heliopause distance before the Voyager probes reached it were inconsistent. However, scientists assumed it to be around 50 astronomical units, and hence the mission's funding was increased. Nevertheless, what astronomers found striking was that as the spacecraft departed from this landmark, no expected signs of interstellar transit were detected. So, we can understand why scientists were perplexed by this bewildering situation. They waited in vain for signs of this peculiar event, but none surfaced. According to researchers, one of the signs of this highly anticipated crossing into interstellar space was an abrupt increase in galactic cosmic rays. High-energy particles expelled from supernovae and other cataclysms at nearly the speed of light. However, we have been informed that most low-energy cosmic rays are deflected by the massive magnetic field created by the heliosphere. This heliosphere is the universe's gift to our solar system as it protects our inner solar system from most of its external threats. It's like a huge shield ensuring the safety of everything that lies within the inner solar system. Furthermore, the Voyager ground team had their eyes locked on the spacecraft as they kept tabs on changes in the dominant magnetic field. Moreover, the interstellar medium, which is made up of ionized gases and is influenced by nearby stars, was expected to have a different magnetic field orientation compared to the heliosphere. Thus, scientists were dismayed when the Voyager reported no signs of such alterations. Dumbfounding researchers further at this junction, it was clear that the space probe had wrapped itself in a thick cloak of mystery. The picture became less blurry when on August 25, 2012, the Voyager crossed the heliopause and sent back interesting data to the ground team on Earth. The transmitted data did confirm the expected increase in plasma density, but the story wasn't entirely successful. This is because there was no indication of a shift in the ambient magnetic field direction. Astronomers found it a bit hard to come to terms with this reality because it was unexpected. As it had been assumed that a change in magnetic field direction would occur when transitioning from a region where the sun's magnetic field was dominant to a region where other stars influenced it, it took a while before this shocking finding sank into scientists' minds. If we walk back in time to November 2018, we would be welcomed by an intriguing reel of how Voyager 2 embarked on an exciting journey to the interstellar sea. This one of a journey generated buzz in the scientific community and has remained on the lips of astronomers since then. 
we can't blame them for being fascinated by this remarkable event that saw the Voyager craft arrive at the heliopause, the border of our solar system, at 120 astronomical units from Earth. What's interesting is that this was the same distance its twin Voyager 1 had reached six years before. Astronomers were excited that Voyager 2 could replicate the same feat nevertheless. What scientists still found confusing was how Voyager 2 had detected no changes in the magnetic fields, which was contrary to what theoretical models suggested. This bizarre event poured an extra dose of mystery into the pool of mysteriousness that the space probe was swimming, and astronomers were cracking their heads in search of an answer. But at every turn, they met a brick wall. It seemed as if the dark clouds were destined to prevail over this matter forever. It was mind-boggling that the Voyager's behavior went in direct opposition to predictions. For instance, predictions tell us that the heliosphere, which is influenced by the sun's 11-year cycle, should have ebbed and flowed just like the solar wind. Scientists were surprised when existing models failed to explain discrepancies in Voyager observations, especially as the solar wind peaked upon Voyager 2's arrival, suggesting the heliopause might be farther than 120 astronomical units, close to the interstellar medium. Minor changes near the heliopause influenced by the heliosphere raised questions about Voyager's transition into the true interstellar magnetic field. Conflicting views emerged among scientists. Some believe Voyager remains within the heliosphere, while others think it has successfully crossed into interstellar space, influenced by increased galactic cosmic ray and plasma density. Voyager's durable systems, running on decades-old technology with minimal software, continue to fascinate as they approach Proxima Centauri, promising unprecedented discoveries if their mission extends to 2030.